In this makeup tutorial, we're going to go and do some pop makeup. Pop makeup is so much fun to go and do and it makes you look like a comic book character. So let's get started. Some of the makeup that I used for this look was actually sent to me from Urban Decay. I used two cover-ups that they send me, a blush along with also some setting spray. So starting off with the base, I ended up using this cover-up more like a foundation. And I feel like it just gave my face the perfect look for more of a flat look, kind of like I was going for, because a lot of pop art and pop makeup does have a flat type of look to it. And also this stuff too was just honestly great. It had a blender on the end of it and it was just so silky. Honestly, it covered up everything so well, but it also really didn't look like it was there after it was blended in, which I absolutely loved. Now, as I was putting this down, you can see that I'm just getting this everywhere. And again, this was cover up, but I used it more like foundation for this look. Then I went and I took some blush and I put it onto my cheeks. And I used this blush also underneath my eyes as well too, and this made them look a lot softer with the final look. Then I went over to my cheekbones and I wanted to go and make them pop bit, so I used the other cover-up to go and do so, and I used just a very light amount of this, and I blended it out with the blender that was on there. Now onto the rest of my makeup. For my eyes, I did winged makeup, and a lot of pop art you do see a very similar look. I also put these little tiny lines where my eyebrows are, along with also where my temples are, and I filled in my eyebrows slightly. This really helps to go and make it look like you are out of a comic book, along with gives a bit more of a flatness to your face. At the edges of where my eye is, I put these small lines, and also too I put a small line to go and outline my cheekbone further, and I did this on both sides. After I drew those on, then I went over to my nose, I put small lines where my nostril area was, along with also outlined the edges of my nose, and these are just thin little lines that I used, along with also too just added a couple more lines where my chin was, where my philtrum was, around my lips, and a few other areas. Then I went over and put on some lipstick. Of course I am using red lipstick because it pops just so nicely with this look. And at the edges of where my mouth is, I made these pointed, almost triangles at the sides of it. And this also really makes it look like there's a bit of an angle to my lip and it makes it look more comic book like. This is also something typically you will see with a lot of pop art. Now over my eyelids, I put these little tiny lines too. After all of the black lines were down, then I went over with some white lines and I added just a bit of light into this look and I tried to follow along on some of these lines where you would find a lot more light along with also to put some of these little tiny light areas on my cheeks, outlined a small portion of my mouth. After the makeup had dried, then I put on a wig and I went with this really cute purple one and after the wig was in place, then I used some setting spray. The final makeup is honestly so incredibly cute and this is a great look for Halloween. A big thank you again to Urban Decay for sending me some makeup. I had a lot of fun going and applying it and I think this look is just so incredibly cute. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and have a good one.